Happy Thursday, students. This is Dr. Joseph, your instructor. I want to take a few minutes to go over um, certain items with you in the course calendar of activity as well as in the syllabus. So this is very important. So I'm going to need your undivided attention. Uh, first of all, I would like to go over uh, this week's uh, course calendar of activities. Of course, yesterday, Wednesday, um, Wednesday the 15th, uh, there were two assignments uh, that were due online on Blackboard. The student introduction, um, Many of you have done it. Actually, I am missing two students who have not done it. Um, but thank you. It's a pleasure to get to know you, to get to know your interest, your background, and your passion for learning, and your commitment to achieving your goals and your success, um, your dreams, I meant to say, your goals and your dreams at St. Jack. I'm here to guide you, to help you, if you will, to serve as a mentor to you so you can uh, be successful as a student here. Um, then uh, I've also a sign in the textbook, let's talk with readings, which uh, you should have purchased by, uh, by now. I did mention in a couple of in announcements to you, you can get the book um, in our college's bookstore, for example, the main campus in Pasadena. You can also get it um, online on amazon.com, Norton, the publisher of this book. But anyway, you should have received this book by now because as you know, this is an intensive course. So we go fast. We're trying to cover 16 weeks of classroom items uh, in eight weeks, okay? So it's very important that you stay on task. Do not uh, be distracted. As I always tell my students, uh, when you're taking uh, an intensive summer class, uh, if you have a girlfriend, tell your girlfriend to give you a few, to take a few minutes off. That's a joke, okay? So you can focus. I really want you to focus on this class because I want you to be successful in 1302. Uh, so you had an opportunity to read a great essay by Kwame Apaya. Should I hang out with someone whose political views I hate? Um, and the essay is... Uh, is published in our book on page 587 uh, through page uh, 589. And I've assigned some complete questions, some questions you have to answer on page 590. There are five questions that were due today. And I hope you had the opportunity not only to read the, the essay, but also submitted your work that was due yesterday. Okay, now we are on Thursday. As you see, I divide the class, like each week I di is divided in two parts. So for example, by Wednesday, there are certain items, certain study activities you have to, you have to do by Wednesday, right? And by the middle of the week, Okay, and the second part of the week extends until Sunday. Other items that you have to cover or you have to get done by Sunday at 11.59. And those items, as you know, uh, include study activities, for example, readings that you have to do, videos that you have to watch, and assessment activities. Assessment activities can include questions from the book, from the readings from the book you have to do, 
or a quiz or it could be a discussion uh, board or it could be uh, just uh, just anything any uh, any form of writing you have to submit for example as we looking at the week 513 to 519 since uh classes begin on, on 513 which is uh the past month uh, monday that just passed right we uh, we on uh, today's thursday so for for the second part of this week, right? We're going to be talking about MLA citation, organizing, how to organize your paper, and how to think rhetorically, how to think rhetorically. For example, uh, I have a sign, chapter two, thinking rhetorically in the book, right? Thinking rhetorically in the book, pages 12 to 12 up to 28. I've also assigned uh, two videos that you have to watch, English English study plan. Okay, so this is a rec this this video is very important as you're trying to organize uh, yourselves. Okay, and it says collectively uh, to be successful in this class. So I want you to watch this video. So you can find some help, some resources, how to make this happen. Uh, there's also a second video for the second part of the week. is the MLA citation, okay, uh, which is very significant because in this class, we use the LM, uh, MLA formatting style when we write for anything that we do in this class. So... And I know you were introduced to MLA in 1301. This is just an overview, a review to bring back to some of the wonderful things you have learned in 1301. Uh, so you want to make sure you review St. Jack's Quick Start MLA formatting because I really want you to master the MLA formatting style, because I'll be looking how you quote, how you cite sources, and how you present your paper, because your paper has to be presented in a professional manner. Finally, I want you to read, it's called Writing a Summary Response. If you just click, click on the, <coughs> excuse me, Put the printer, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, click uh, on the title, writing a summary response or the summary response instruction. It says PDF, read journal writing instructions. Again, you just click on it. It will take you to the next page. Now, something that is very important, I'm going to tell you in a few minutes, okay? Uh, but before I do so, for by Sunday, Sunday the 19th, so by Sunday the 19th, you have two items that are due. You're gonna write a summary of on the reading, thinking right, rhetorically, right? Okay, that's on page 12, beginning on page 12 and ends on page 28. So you're going to write a 200, about 250, between 250 to 300 word summary of what you have read. Okay, so you want to make sure uh, you read what the summary response is, what you do when you summarize. When you summarize, you want to highlight the main point, the major point of the text. Okay, the essential items that are covered uh, in the text. So I'm asking you to write a one paragraph, uh, a, a, one, a one paragraph summarizing the reading that you have done, thinking rhetorically. And then there's a uh, there's a journal entry that you have to do. Basically, I'm asking you to write another paragraph also on what you have learned for this week, your first week of class. 
what you have learned, including right the text, the ASAN readings that I've given in the textbook. Now, so two items that I do, uh, it, it 250 to 300 words, summary response, and journal number one. Okay, you cannot afford to fall behind. Okay, and I want you to be to keep reading because I do assign a lot of readings. Okay, uh, I'm known for that as an instructor. Uh, so you have to read. You have to read every day. You have to read every day. This is how you're gonna pass this class. Okay, you're not gonna pass this class if you do not read. If you do, if you do not complete the assessment activities. I'm here to help you. I'm here to work with you, but personal responsibility is critical. Personal responsibility is essential to getting anything done in life. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I've also posted online uh, the course calendar activities for the next three weeks. So not only for week one, for week two and for week three. Make sure you always check your announcement. Click on the, the announcement tab. I, because this is how we communicate. This is an online class. I do not see you face to face. If I have something co to communicate with you, it's gonna be VA online, VA announcements. You, you click, make sure you, you read your announcements because I'm not, I don't like to repeat myself uh, for the things that I've already covered or things that I've already uh, explained or informed you about on the announcements. So this is personal responsibility. This is one of the learning outcomes of this class. Uh, the each announcement goes directly to your email. So not only you have the announcements on the course shell, the announcements are also sent directly to your email. So there's no way you can miss the announcements. I've programmed the course so you can view the announcements in two ways, online on the course shell and via your email. So there are no excuses, say Dr. Joseph, I did not see the announcement, okay? So you have to stay in tune, okay? Uh, you have to work with me if you want me to work with you, but you have to be, you have to do your best, okay? You're, you have to meet your responsibilities, okay? So next week, we'll be talking about reading and understanding, okay? And then the following week, week three, we'll be talking about the writing process and the will and the unwill. Now, every week, okay, I will post one to two videos, okay? Uh, post in a video on Monday uh, to cover Monday, the materials that will be covered on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in class. And then on Wednesday, I'm sorry, Wednesday or Thursday, I will post another video so I can go over uh, what will be covered on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Remember, every assignment is due at 11.59 on Wednesday, Wednesday or Sunday, 11.59. The first part, right? Remember, the week is divided in two parts. So the activities, the assessment activities, and the study activities are due by Wednesday at 11.59, and the second half, the study activities and the assessment activities are, are due on Sunday at 11.59. So, uh, my email is solucian.joseph at sjcd.edu. My email is posted uh, it's uh, in the syllabus. It's also posted in the course calendar of activities. And my phone number is 281-476-1868. 281-476-1868. I'm pretty good at responding. 
at students email uh, i do my best to respond to your emails within a 24 hour uh, time frame okay it's such a pleasure to have you in class we're going to have a great time do your diligence to read to get the work done again it's a it's a delight to to teach you to guide you so you can improve your writing skills you can improve your uh communication skills as well as research.